Thank you, Mr. President. And you all know I rarely get up under statements. And, and I appreciate the, the fact that the Senator from the 11th and the Senator from the 12th have uh, started the debate on the stimulus package and, and the things that are going on in Washington uh, as we speak. Uh, and certainly, when the stimulus dollars reach Michigan, those of us in the legislature charged with appropriating that money and determining the priorities with which we spend it, uh, I trust will do it uh, with their usual rigor and foresight. Uh, but I, I would be interested to hear, and I don't believe I ever did hear, uh, during the closing days of the previous administration, when $700 billion of taxpayer money was handed out to the so-called masters of the universe camped out on Wall Street, trading collateralized debt obligations and fictitious uh, mortgage loans and, and turning our financial system into a cesspool. Uh, I didn't hear anybody talking about uh, the taxpayers during that uh, fiasco when the banks and the mortgage companies and the insurance companies were handed money without question, without uh, any, any request for a plan as our big three automakers were forced to jump through all of the hoops and crawl on their hands and knees. So as we uh, consider in our concerns with the taxpayers over the stimulus package, let's not forget what happened just a few short months ago when the taxpayers were taken to the cleaners by the financial companies and the mortgage companies and the insurance companies. And that $700 billion also rests on the backs of our children and grandchildren. So I would just like a little um, equity in the debate here as we talk about taxpayer dollars and what's happening in Washington, in D.C., and what happened in the previous administration uh, just several short months ago. And I would like my remarks printed in the journal, Mr. President.